everybody. Let's get rid of this first of all. <coughs> get rid of the hat. To say, is my nose really that red? I know, we caught the sun yesterday a bit on the glorious island of Tenerife. What a fabulous place. So, have breakfast and very exciting day ahead today because we've got this. So, a permit to Pico del Tide, the peak of Tide. And the reason I'm, I'm excited is I've done it before, but the Canarian government only gives about, I think, 200 places per day to go to the peak. So you get the cable car so far and then you can actually take the 40 minute trek to the peak. And I think it's at about 12, maybe 12 and a half thousand feet but we'll see when we get there. So, very excited. Um, so let's go. So up there, I'll try and point to it. It's right where I'm going in a few minutes time. So the cable car takes you. The cable car takes you to about there. It's quite difficult to point to. Uh, the cable car takes you there. And the permit from the Canarian government takes you there. And you have to walk that bit and it takes about 40 minutes so that's what we're doing next it's uh, about midday now in mid-october it's already 25 degrees celsius it's just surrounded by this fantastic scenery this is one of the many reasons that i love coming to tenerife and the canary islands but particularly tenerife So popular with motorcyclists, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh, I don't blame them, to be honest. I mean, the roads are quite good fun, and of course, you get the scenery here. I mean, the truth is that I've never really been into motorbikes, but I can see the appeal. I do get it. I do get it. and upwards. Got about another hour or so before the uh, cable car booking so I'm just going to get a bit more video or up here, might as well. Right, better get a wriggle on. So, just stop to get some photographs there. So, I'm just get across this, off this cobbled stopping part. So, I'm actually in the National Park now. And two things. One is, you're not allowed to fly drones here. That's out. The other thing, referring back to that permit this morning, there's a couple of friends were asking me, is how do you get the permit to go to the very peak? So, your cable car pass uh, will take you from one the base station up to the, the higher station, which is still a uh, 11,500 feet of sea level, but to get further, what you need is the permit from the Canarian government. Now, they only give about 200 of these per day, and even though obviously tourism down here is quiet at the moment, that they sell out really quickly. There's no cost of free, but you have to have one if you're going to go to the very peak. So, I'll pop the web address below, it's in Spanish and English language, so it's easy to use. But you have to get the month in advance, so I've had my permit for today, probably since... Probably since I booked the flight back in February. Really full as well, so you do need to prepare yourself for that. We're 
have plenty of spaces at the bottom, but in the height of uh, summer it still gets busy. So let's see what we can find. And whilst we're climbing to the peak, it's a huge volcanic warm welcome to my newest Patreon subscriber, Jonathan Sellers. Thanks Jonathan for your great support. Enjoy the video. container otherwise known as an airliner but I'm not and I think this is the highest altitude I've ever been uh, unaided <laughs> but uh, the, the air is as I say noticeably thinner and whilst I'm not struggling to breathe uh, because I've done a lot of exercise the last few weeks in the run-up to this trip um, I do feel a little breathless but so from the cable car it's about a 40 minute walk and I've only I've done it once before um, but the government only issues about 20 permits per day to do that trek and you have to get them months in advance so fortunately I managed to get one so I'm quite looking forward to that it's a good few years since I last did it but um, the weather's nice it is noticeably cooler up here uh, it's 18 degrees as I stand now and it was 25 when we got on board the cable car which in itself is uh, I think seven thousand, seven and a half thousand feet up in the air. So let's continue on. Oh, and a good tip: wear walking boots. The ground, as you can see, whilst it's you know there is a path, um, there is a path, as I say. But as you can see, it's not the most even path in the world, and that's fine because it's a volcanic island. You wouldn't expect it to be. But um, it's definitely walking boot type territory, which is what I would recommend.
So if you manage to get a permit, that's Pico del Tide you'll be looking for. It's about a 40 minute walk, depending on your walking pace, clearly. But it's about a 40 minute walk from when I did it last time. And it's, um, it's really good. It's really, really good. I would go as far as saying, um, if you're gonna make the effort to buy a ticket to come up the cable car, then really you should you should actually try and get the permit because you don't you only rise about another thousand or fifteen hundred feet I think something of that order and it's well worth doing well worth doing especially as I say if you're here if you've made a flight from northern Europe and you're gonna come up tidy then heck you might as well go up to the peak while you're here Get some really good shots up there, as you'll see. Wow. Down there. I hope you can hear me okay. This is the first test of the new GoPro, like I say. So down there is the cloud base. And that's going to be, what, I think, 5,000 feet above sea level, maybe? I don't know. Given where we are now, it's probably halfway down, do you reckon? I don't know. There's no very good getting these things. Really is fantastic up here. You're like a million miles from anything other than these tourists stuck behind me. <laughs> but then I'm a tourist as well, of course. It really is amazing. I do love it up here. I love the whole of Tenerife, like I said earlier. Um, if you watched the flight video down here and saw me at Heathrow earlier, I was really excited to be here. So it is now quiet, that is, when they stop talking. so quiet. All you can hear really is the wind. But given the altitude that's not really surprising. And on a good day you can see some of the other Canary Islands. What a fabulous place. If you've never been to the Canary Islands, especially Tenerife, I would say now is the time to come and see it. Because A, the tourism industry desperately needs your money. And B, because, because of the current situation it's very, very quiet. This is the right time to see it. Let's point up to the peak. Uh, so, the truth is, this is still, according to some scientists, and I'm no volcanologist, of course, I presume that's the right word, I'm not referring to Mr. Spock in Star Trek, but some volcanologists or experts say that this is still a live volcano. Now, it last erupted in 1909, so it was a few years ago, and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, before I was born. But, but, some say it could still spew at any minute. But I can't see anything yet. But if I do, first to know. That would make a really great video, wouldn't it? Other than the fact I'd probably be dead. But, yeah, I think that would make a really good video. I wonder if I could go live on YouTube if it started spewing. Hang on, I'll check. Hmm, let's have a look. No, because there's very little signal here. So, it's a good job I brought my satellite phone. I told you it was going to blow, didn't I? Heat coming up from the active volcano Tidy. Here you, are. Here you go.
peak of Mount Tidy. It's not a simple windy path. It's very steep in parts. I felt like I needed climbing it, but then I'm not a mountaineer, of course. So, um, yeah, really nice trip. Um, if you can get the permit, it's well worth doing as long as you're relatively able bodied. Don't need to be uh, Sebastian Coe, I suppose. I'm not the other. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. I've really enjoyed making this video. Really. day made possible by my really great supporters on Patreon. Guys, thanks a million. I couldn't bring these videos without you. before I forget that I must tell you for career minded people on the cable cars that go up that I've just been on after every ride current circumstances they clean it really professionally I mean like they don't spray it um, in an industrial sense but they give it a good clean with two people that's very impressive but what's even more impressive is on the cable car there's a man who goes up and down all day and he has his own little compartment on the cabin and his own little radio and things so when I finally do get sick and tired of working in financial services which I'm not far off to be fair <laughs> I'm gonna come here and just do that job what an amazing job going up and down there all day long you know you work with your colleagues to clean the compartment after every ride that's fine I could do that I think I'd be happy doing something like that and I mean, let's face it, the views you get are probably uh, unbeaten, really, as far as most careers go. What would you rather? Rather sit in front of a laptop or go up and down in the cable car all day looking at this. I actually want to get some time-lapse video for you, but <laughs> nothing's moving. The clouds are not moving. There's obviously the, the day itself here until the night trip is coming to an end. There's literally nothing to, to show you <laughs> if I did some time-lapse. So maybe tomorrow, or maybe I'll do some at the beach. I don't know. Right, I'm going to get in the car. Get in the old Corsa. So one of the things I wanted to talk about, while I remember, is I paid, I went to VolcanoTidy.com to book the tickets on the cable car. Straightforward, up and down, return ticket. And it was about, well I can tell you, it was 27 euro. And I don't know if you're sort of dealing with the monkey rather than the organ grinder when you buy tickets from VolcanoTidy.com I think they appear everywhere when I searched on Google but what you don't need to do what you really don't need to do because I priced this up, believe me is you don't need to use any of the agents in the results because they are just ripping you off 
they are charging upwards of 30 euro for a ticket. And what they'll tell you is, ah, but our tickets come with an English tour guide. Well, I didn't see anybody with an English tour guide today. And there were quite a few people about, obviously not very busy because of the current circumstance, but seriously folks, I couldn't find anywhere cheaper than Volcano Tide. That was legitimate, there are some dodgy agents on the island, but you do not need to use any, whether they tell you they're an official agent or not, whatever they tell you, I found Volcano Tide is just simple. They give you a little barcoded e-ticket, which gets scanned when you go up. They did give you a paper ticket print out to come back down, which I subsequently lost while I was up there. But it was no problem, I just, they just looked at my e-ticket on the way back and it was fine. And it was 27 euro, which was a lot cheaper than the agents in the resorts. So that's just something to bear in mind really. It really is. So there you go. I've saved you some money. You can thank me later. Ah, right, so the hotel we go after a great day up at Mount Tidy. <laughs> Every day is a happy day in Tenerife. Every single day. What a great place. It's five past five in the evening and it's 20 degrees exactly according to the car anyway. So we're in the parking to Publico. It's uh, <laughs> not the smoothest car <laughs> park I've ever driven in. What a great day out. 